with. So now, today, we're going to talk about shooting. You see here, make sure and choose the right tool just to shoot with in your basement, on your driveway. Don't be shooting a golf ball at your dad's expensive garage door. Shoot a tennis ball. Little kids, younger kids, I want you using a blue puck, it's lighter. Shooting is about two things, weight transfer and quickness. Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys to back up a little. Now, why are you holding the baseball bat, coach? Well, it's simple. When we shoot, we're in a balanced hockey position. Everything we do in hockey is balanced. I've got the baseball bat because it's gonna teach us to transfer our weight. Back foot, front foot. When you swing the bat, boom. You can't help but learn how to transfer your weight. The best shooters I've ever seen have finesse technique. They're quick, quick, quick. Doesn't matter how big and strong you are. It's all technique and finesse. And it starts with weight transfer. So kids, you get a big baseball bat that forces us to move, okay? Back foot, knees bent, front foot. We shoot from the back foot to the front foot. Back foot to the front foot. So that's why we have a baseball bat, okay? When we shoot, we start with the puck back here. It's on our heel. We look up, transfer our weight, and shoot, okay? Back here, step, shoot, okay? Back here, heel. We drive forward, pushing off our back leg, puck here, we're looking. This hand pushes, this hand pulls. Okay, we push and pull. So again, just like our wrists when we swing a baseball bat. This hand comes in, this hand goes out. Okay, so we start here. We have our heavy stick. You wanna get fast, use a heavy stick. Back, step, boom, shoot the puck. Do you see where my body is? Just like the baseball bat. Back here to here. Okay, exact same thing. Little kids, we use the blue puck. Why? Speed and finesse. Little guys can't develop finesse using a big black heavy puck. Again, if we're in a spot we don't want to break anything, we're going to use a tennis ball. Okay, back here, step, look, boom, shoot. Okay, follow through with the hand, point. Okay, this hand pulls, this hand pushes. The other little thing you're going to learn, the big shooters drive their stick into the ice. So every stick is soft, it's driven in, we push, we pull. The bending of your stick gives you the snap and the release. Big Trey was a far better shooter than Coach ever was. I remember watching him when he was 10 and goalies would literally want to leave the hockey game, okay? So, Trey knows how to shoot because he does it right. We bring the, pack, the puck back. As Coach will say in practice, we're loading the gun. We bring the puck back, but your feet shouldn't be together. Our feet are apart. Now we're stepping, transferring our weight, driving our stick, and following through with a nice, nice point. The point is where that puck's supposed to go. The puck is on the heel of our stick. Pull it back, boom, step, shoot, boom, okay? Do a straight wrist shot, step, boom, okay? Hit the post, okay? Never, in the beginning, I want you just to hit the net. And I want you to hit the net a 100 times. Why? Because when it hits the net, one of two things happens. One, you score, fantastic. Two, if you don't score, you get a rebound. When you miss the net, what happens? The puck goes to the other team. Hit the net, hit the net, hit the net, okay? At higher levels, they'll actually shoot it at the goalie knowing they're getting a rebound because their winger's coming in to get the rebound. Hit the net, hit the net, hit the net. Again, I want quick finesse over power, okay? Sorry, I want finesse and location over power, okay?
Okay, put the puck where you want it. Where do we put the puck? Where the goalie isn't. Okay, it's far more important to put the puck where you want it than to shoot it at 672 miles an hour. So practice putting the puck where you want it with a proper technique. So Trey, I want you to shoot in this area. Again, every kid wants to raise the puck. Most goals are scored on the ice. Am I right, Mr. Dane? On the ice. Don't worry about raising the puck. Learn to shoot hard and low because that's where the goals are scored. Hard and low. And if you don't score, then your winger sitting here, boom, gets a rebound. Another thing I like is a good grunt, okay? Ah! Shoot, intimidate, put everything you have into that puck, but put it where you want it, okay? So Trey, fire that puck, step into it, boom, okay? Hard, boy, hard, hard, boom, that's better. Hard puck, this kid can shoot, boom, okay? Hard puck, step, boom, okay? See, he's putting the puck where he wants it, that's excellent. Quick release, boom. See his head's up, he's looking before he's shooting. Always look, just like passing. Passing, shooting, almost exactly the same. We look before we pass, we look before we shoot. All right, Mr. Trey showed us our basic wrist shot. It was well done. Now, again, what's important in hockey? We want to fake, fake, fake. You can get a goalie to uh, goalies anticipate so if you can fake a goalie out he might already go down then you can go high you can fake a pass you can fake a shot you can fake a stick handle if you guys remember we have a drill called shift and shoot why do we shift and shoot because we're changing the angle of the shot that's a little bit of a fake so now we're gonna watch Nader who's a left-hander he's gonna show us some fakes and some shots okay so you come in that was a a stick handle or a fake shot, okay? So we can fake a shot, fake, and then delay, boom. Delay's another nice little fake, okay? Again, we wanna have our wrists back. This is something Nate needs to work on. He shoots from his front, but he needs to shoot from his back where the power is, okay? Our power is in the back so that we can transfer our weight forward, okay? Again, we're gonna do a fake pass and then a shot. So it's a slow, we're looking at the pass and then boom, we fire the shot. Okay, so we're looking at the pass, boom, fire the shot. Now again, a small thing here I notice, if we're looking to pass over here, the goalie's naturally gonna start to cheat this way. So where do we wanna shoot? As soon as we move a goalie this way with our fake, we wanna put the puck right here. Right, Nate? Okay, so let's look our pass fake. We're looking our pass and then boom, nice and low. Cause our goalie's gonna shift just a little bit. Okay, goalies are constantly playing the angle, right, Dana? Constantly looking at your eyes. They're watching you look over here. They're gonna start to cheat, to anticipate, and then we're gonna go back low to the other side. Okay, let's practice that again. We look, yeah, yeah, boom. Again, pull that puck back inside the post. Take advantage of that beautiful fake. Try it again. Look, 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 boom. There we go, perfect. We're gonna shift gears, we're gonna go back to Trey, and we're gonna show you a couple more fakes because faking a goalie is a wonderful, beautiful thing, okay? Practice this at home. Practice your shot, okay? First we practice our shift, practice your shot, then we're gonna practice some fakes. And it's okay to make 200 mistakes, that's what practice is for, all right? So let's watch big Trey, okay? He's using the puck, boom. So he fakes outside the puck, boom. Okay, he's going around the puck. This is like our shift and shoot. We're pulling it in, changing the angle, okay? Changing the angle of our shot, getting that goalie to move even 1%, okay? At the higher levels of hockey, it's hard to beat a good goalie, okay? Here's another excellent scoring drill. Remember, day two in Conroy Hockey is shooting and scoring, because we don't want to shoot just for shooting, we want to shoot and score. So now we've moved our puck board closer to the net 
And now we're going to fake a shot here, freeze the goalie, and then go to our backhand and just put it over him and make that goalie look silly. Why do we make the enemy goalies look silly? Because we can. Enemy goalies are our enemies. All right. So let's start. Nate, we're going to freeze with the shot, pull it back, boom. Oh my goodness gracious. That's a touchdown. All right. Or a field goal. Okay. We'll try that again. Okay, freeze, boom. Okay, fake shot on the forehand, boom, freeze. Nate's got the double fake going with the lift and leg. Okay, boom, pull it back, boom. And again, what's important with the shot is putting it where you want. It doesn't have to be 700 miles an hour, it needs to go where we want. So you'll see Nate's pulling it over, pausing ever so briefly, making sure that puck's here, and then putting it home, okay? Again, fake the shot, boom. Okay, Nate, let's get you to put your feet a little bit now, and we're gonna, no, other way, other way, kiddo. My goodness, we gotta go back to basics with Nate, hey? So, we're gonna pull that back, now we're gonna pull it over, to our backhand now you're going to step forward with your left foot boom that's how we shoot properly we got to move our feet we're in hockey position we're starting here coming over boom beautiful that's another field goal okay now kids every time we miss the net do we ever score daner how many times you've been scored on when they miss the net zero much better to hit the net with a poor shot than miss the net with a 700 mile an hour. Okay, try that again, one more time, Nate. Fake shot, round, boom, stepping into it, beautiful. All right, kids, so the last drill we're gonna work on today for shooting and scoring is the deke. Coach loves the deke, anybody can deke. And what's important about dekes, that four letter F word again, fake, 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 okay? We got a fake to make a good deke. Our best deke, forehand fake, go to our backhands. Goalies go down, and where do we go? Upstairs where mama keeps the cookies, okay? So big Trey's gonna go in. He's gonna start with his backhand deke. Daner, you're gonna come out of the net. Okay, we're going in. Fake to the forehand, boom, okay? That's hard to go down. So you're gonna have to go a little faster to beat your little brother today. Okay, we're gonna practice that. Remember, get that puck outside on our backhand, boom. Okay, a little slower, Daner. Okay, come in, freeze the goalie, the fake, boom, backhand. Again, tennis ball is tough to control, we're outside. However, the emotions are the most important part. Let's go through the motion. Let's try our backhand again. We need some fakes, we gotta trick that goalie. Boom, there, that's well done. Good job, Trey. Okay, perfect fake to the backhand. Now we're gonna look backhand, go to our forehand, okay? Boom, boom, there we go. Quick, quick, quick. Shift, quick. Shift, shoot, shift, shoot, shift, shoot. And fake, fake, fake. Boom. It's so one thing the NHLers do in the shootout. Lots of fakes, lots of fancy, lots of tricks. Well, in a hockey game, it's a little harder when Big Nate's chasing you. Okay, so you gotta be quick, quick, quick. Okay, let's see a fake go to our forehand. Oh my goodness, we got touchdowns everywhere today. Do we have any? Good job, Nate. Okay, one last time, we're gonna go to our forehand this time. Come in. Boom, okay. And the last deke we get, so now our goalie, he's already seen us go to the backhand, he's seen us go to the forehand. Personally, I love between the legs. That was one of my favorite. You get his feet open, and there's a big old hole between the legs. Okay, so let's try and do that. You gotta really get that goalie flopping around with your fake, so. Come in, boom, there we go. Oh, look at that, excellent focus on the puck. Got the rebound, goalie having a little nap again. <laughs> we gotta get Daner that cup of coffee in my car. Legs come apart, perfect, good work. All right, and that kids is shooting and the best part of shooting is scoring, perfect. 
So now we're going to focus on shooting and scoring. And this here, this is the goalie. And you know who he is? He's the enemy, okay? We hate this guy. We are not about to let him stop our puck. And you know what? We're going to be all over him like white on rice, okay? It's important that your goalie knows you're alive, okay? And as a good enemy forward, you're constantly going to be making him aware of your presence. You might want to talk to him. You might want to discuss his last math score, okay? You might want to discuss other things, okay? I don't know my audience, so I'm being polite here. Once we're in front of the net set up, okay, we're always in ready position. What's this, kids? This is called hockey position. I don't want your stick on the ice. I disagree with that. We want our stick up because we're ready. We've worked hard to get down the ice, and now I'm in the shooting and scoring position. I'm low. Nate, you wanna come battle with me a little bit over here? Okay, I'm low and strong. Okay, I'm in hockey position. I've got two hands on my stick. Come to my right, Nate. Okay, we're gonna battle the defenseman's here. Okay, he's gonna come at me. He's gonna tie me up. Okay, he's got one hand on his stick. He's gonna have his stick over here because that's what a good defenseman does. Okay, so now he's looking at me. His arm's out over here. Okay, and now we've got a battle going on, okay? We're gonna battle. I'm in the front of the net. I might give him a little chop on the shins because I'm kind of a dirty hockey player. Okay, we don't want the ref to know, but we're gonna battle, okay? So when we're here, we worked hard to get to this. This is the golden zone. This is where most goals are scored for. And now we're gonna fight to keep this position, okay? So now uh, we battle to get in front of the net, and now we're here. We're in hockey position, we're up. The puck is behind the net. You can see Big Trey's gonna be tossing pucks at me. We don't put our stick on the ice because in a hockey game, the chances of me getting the puck perfectly on my stick, hmm, one in 30. Okay, so I'm in a ready position, puck comes, boom. Oh, look at that. Use my hand down here, control the puck, boom. Good save, Dana. Okay, I'm back, ooh. Okay, again, one hand, we don't use the stick. Stupid thing bounce too much. Oh, top shelf, look at that. Okay, we're in front again, I'm watching the puck, boom. Use my hand, boom. Oh, backhand, good job, coach, rebound. Okay, again, we're in front, this is a great drill. Use my body, oh. Again, this with the tennis balls, it's a nice thing. Oh, boom. Look at that. Holy smokes, filling the net today. Okay, boom, use it, boom. Oh, miss the net. Again, standing ready. Oh, stop the puck. Battle, 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 boom. Miss the net. Okay, we're battling, we're battling, we're balanced. Boom, nice one. Hand down. Oh, good save, Nader. Oh, rebound, rebound. Filling the net. Boom, oh, hands up, gotta turn, boom. Oh, home run. All right, okay, you see this, kids? Great practice. Your coaches will say, stick down, be ready. Stick up, be ready, be intense, be balanced. You own this zone. This is where we score from, okay? So now we'll do it again with the young guys. All right, kids, this is a, a Conroy hockey drill that we're a little bit famous for, and it's a fantastic drill because it mimics real hockey. We've got big trays of forward. He's got two hands on the stick. He's ready to score. Nader's the D-man, okay? One hand on the stick. His stick is out, okay? I want you like this. We've got stick out here. We're going to trip, okay? Hand out here. Hand out here, okay? We're a wall. Trey is not getting past him to the net. It's a battle. We like battles. Battles are real. Battles occur. We want to learn how to win battles. Nate's job is to stop Trey. Trey's job is to shoot and score. Trey has an advantage. I'm behind the net. I have the puck. Trey can see me with the puck. Nate will not turn around. Now the goalie, a good goalie is going to be talking to his D-man, 
okay, and helping him and telling him where the puck is, telling him, pass, pass, right? We're going to speak a lot, Daner. Very, very important part of being a goaltender. Okay, you got to communicate. Trey has the advantage of seeing where the ball is. Okay, boom. Okay, now, Nate, you need to get engaged. You got to hook up. You got to stop that big man from getting to the net. All right, ready? Look at your man, get in front, boom. Okay, two, battle, 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 there we go. Stick, good, 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 good. Okay, back to center. Okay, ready? Oh, dear Lord. Good play, Gainer. Do that again, I'm gonna have to words with you, okay? So, again, boom, over. Trey has the advantage, now Nate has it. Boom, okay? This is a battle drill. This is an actual hockey game scoring drill. Boom, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, Nate, you gotta get engaged. So, some of the keys here as a defenseman is you have to be watching his eyes. Because trust me, when the puck's coming, his eyes are gonna get bigger and he's gonna start to move. So as soon as he starts to move, I'm gonna stop him. Okay, I'm gonna keep my hands down, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna hurt him, I'm gonna engage his stick, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna give him an elbow, I'm gonna stop him. That's my job. Watch his eyes, his eyes will tell you everything. Okay, and the goalie who I've not yet heard a word from, despite my recent lecture on communication. Okay, so we wanna talk. Communication in hockey is everything. Excellent, stop, stop, beautiful. Did you see what Trey just did there? What was it kids? Starts with an F, four letter word, has a K in it. Fake, fake, fake. Beautiful fake, love it. Okay, faking is everything, okay? Communication, everything, come on, let's hear ya. Okay, again, big gathering at the house. Use your feet, battle, there we go, good, good, good. Okay, again, Nate, one hand on a stick, grab a stick, cheat, your stick's up, okay? You don't know what you're doing now. We can't be quite as physical as Coach Light, because we're not wearing any equipment. Because a couple little tricks, Trey can put his stick right here on the inside of his skate, give him a little push, go the other way. Is that a penalty? Mm, not really. Okay, you're gonna have to kill him to get a penalty doing that. Okay, I can push him. You wanna push him? Don't push here, this is useless. Okay, look, he can turn. Push here. Now I'm achieving something. Okay, push the legs, the skates will spin. I'm getting away. Why are we nice and low? Hockey position, okay, we're low and strong. Okay, we're low and strong, you battle through. Okay, ready goalie, are we gonna say something this time yet? Like. Oh, maybe that was my mistake. I wasn't looking. He wasn't looking at me. Bad pass, coach. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, 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 oh. Again, big tray not watching the ball. The forward has the advantage. I still haven't heard my goalie say Buckus. So the forward has the advantage of seeing and knowing where the ball goes. Boom, battle. Nate, engage, engage. So one little thing Nate's doing wrong, as soon as Trey moves, he's backing up. I would do the opposite. You need to go forward. When you back up, you're giving him space. Being a good defenseman is about eliminating space. The closer he is to him, the less chance he has of being successful. Okay, D-man engages. Okay, let's do this a couple more times. Lots of good lessons. Okay, goaltender, silent Billy, we're gonna start to call him. Okay, boom, excellent Trey. Good shot, good quick shot. Nader's still learning. Okay, let's get engaged. That a boy, that a boy, that a boy, good. All right, kids, some excellent examples. 167 lessons counted. Rotate, get the goalie in. Your parents don't want you to be a goalie, they don't. Okay, but rotate positions. D-man, engage. Watch the eyes, 
forward, watch the ball, love the fake. Excellent, excellent drill.